the Microsoft SQL Server on which the configuration database resides is corrupted. A backup administrator wants to deploy the configuration database on a new SQL Server and recover data from the configuration backup. Which configuration restore mode should be used? Okay, we have restore, migrate, install, instant SQL recovery, and Veeam Explorer for Microsoft SQL. Uh, configuration database. So let's see here. Want to deploy the configuration on a new SQL server. Uh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, let's see here. Veeam. Configuration. Restore. So what we're talking about here is that we lost the database. We still have our configuration backup. Right? That's what, what we're talking about here. And inside Veeam, so we, we install a new backup server, um, or we, we take the backup server and we go there and we say, hey, I want to restore uh, to a backup server somewhere. And I want to use this configuration backup to do that. So what, what restore mode should I use? Let's take a look here. So we have restore modes. And we see we have restore and migrate. So if I go back, I can already say D is wrong. Instant SQL recovery is wrong. So we're back to restore or migrate. These two here. So let's see here. Use this mode. Want to restore data from configuration backup to the database used by the initial backup server. Use this mode, migrate, use this mode if you're performing a planned migration of your backup server to a new computer to ensure there's no data loss. Make sure you're using the configuration backup made after all jobs have been stopped and disabled. Hmm. So this one says it's a planned migration, but I don't think we can exactly say it's a planned migration if configuration database is, is corrupted, right? That, that doesn't seem like it's something that I planned. So in this example here, I'm going to go with the restore mode.